The government officially taking control of the Grand Lucayan property. Grand Bahamas Call Center reporting great success. And new developments in the Miss Grand Bahama controversy. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition starts. This is the Bahamas Tonight the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shoshina wolf Arkison. As always, it is so great to have you with us. Topping news this evening, the Grand Lucayne Resort is now officially under new management as the government works to complete the acquisition process. Today, the new operations team visited the property for a series of meetings. Sabrina Brown has our top story. Executives of Lucayan Renewal Holdings Limited, the government entity that is now managing the Grand Lucayan Resort, held closed meetings with union officials and staff in the convention center on Wednesday morning. Chairman of the Lucayan Renewal Holdings Limited, Michael Scott, says it was important to meet with staff since the government now has full control of the operations at the resort. However, he says the sale will not be finalized until later this month. The final uh um, completion of the um, the acquisition does not occur until the 21st of September when the after the government secures um, affir the affirmative resolution of the house to the guarantee which is part of the transaction package with Hutchison. Scott says the government no longer has plans to renovate the Memories Resort. If we renovate any hotel property from based on our engineering report it's likely to be breakers. Now the government says the focus is on saving the jobs of hundreds of workers and Scott assured the staff that operations at the resort will continue as usual. We will ensure that they are Fair, um, that fair treatment um, um, is accorded, that no one will be in any way prejudiced as a result of the transition, that it will be seamless, um, that those who want to um, retire from employment at the Grand Lucan Resort Casino will, will be treated fairly, will have their separation or um, termination packages in accordance with the union um, entitlements and that those who want to continue working will continue working as before. Sudden as news asks the chairman if the government is in talks with any potential buyers at this time. There are, but I'm not going to disclose that because as I said before, and I've been reported in, in the media as saying that we, those details are far too sensitive and we are, we are looking at investment proposals and screening them and considering their viability and suitability for this particular product. The government purchased the Grand Lucayan Resort for $65 million and has made a down payment of $10 million. Sabrina Brown, SNS Network News. Industry partners applauding the success of the country's first call center. Opened on Grand Bahama some five years ago, the center is experiencing tremendous growth. Today, the company is celebrating a name change, expansion and relocation. Megan Shepard explains. ITEL BPO, formerly Island Outsourcers, has relocated to the Sir Albert Miller building. The move comes after founder and executive chairman Yoni Epstein says that they've had so much success that they required more employees and a bigger location. Minister of State for Grand Bahama, Senator the Honorable Kwesi Thompson, congratulating the company for standing the test of time and exemplifying that a tech company can survive and grow here on the island. They are a valued partner and really a valued stakeholder in Grand Bahama's economy. In fact, they have been a pioneer and as Ian said, a leader in the technology industry here in Grand Bahama. Even before this government's stated vision to make Grand Bahama a technology hub, as Ian indicated, ITEL BPO opened their doors as island outsourcers in 2013. So they really were pioneers along with the Grand Bahama Port Authority. Epstein notes that the company opened operations on the island in 2013 with only 65 employees and have now began a phased employment expansion plan. He says that the company looks forward to a continued partnership with the Port Authority and the government for a successful organization. We started, we had some 65 people. I'm proud to say today we have about 130 people working here. We have embarked on a new campaign with a client out of the states. Um, 
specifically Texas. And we've already hired the first 25 people. We have another 75 to go with that and other campaigns that we're launching. And um, by the end of, of this year, we should have very close to 200 people working for us here in Grand Bahama. President of the Grand Bahama Port Authority, Ian Roll, noting that this island launched the nation's first standalone call center in the form of island outsourcers. He adds that the expansion is a testament to partnerships and intentional actions to achieve common goals for the benefit of all. Today's success comes as a result of the intentional and deliberate actions of all parties, the Grand Bahama Port Authority, ITEL BPO, and the Government of the Bahamas. Together, our efforts sought out, attracted, and established a new economic sector for Grand Bahama, ripe with growth potential and future prospects. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. In other news, the Miss Grand Bahama organization to hold a meeting to discuss the ongoing controversy involving their new queen, the 17-year-old offending Bahamians in a post on social media while paying homage to the Haitian community. Calling the comment insulting, residents are expressing outrage tonight. Social media exploding with harsh comments Tuesday evening after a comment by the new Miss Grand Bahama, Evna Gibson, went viral. The Instagram post offended thousands of Bahamians as many thought the 17-year-old's caption on her photo was demeaning to Bahamian women and showed no national pride as Gibson claimed she was too gorgeous to be a Bahamian, but instead she is a Haitian. Our ZNS News team spoke with residents who were shocked by the post. I was shocked. I was shock because as a Bahamian I don't think that's something she should have she should have said that's bad that's bad she's supposed to be lifting her country up wow what a statement my I guess she wasn't actually really thinking of what she was saying she was just acting out because then she already has the crown and she figures she has arrived this resident says she is a Haitian Bahamian and does not condone the post I was born here from foreign parents so that's a war she start because that's something we could continuous because she put it on radio it could continue 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 you could hear that all the time so I don't think it she should have do it this resident says that the issue is not about nationality but rather respect even if she have Haitian parents she she was born or probably raised there so I feel like she have a responsibility to the Bahamian public and to the Bahamian people that uh, represent us as a whole it doesn't matter if she is Haitian or Bahamian we still want people because they here too. Now many on social media called for the immediate resignation of Gibson or called the organization to take away the crown. These residents agree. Let's look at the other pageants. Um, when is there's a fault by the queen, well the crown goes to the first runner up. So who's the first runner up in this pageant? She was actually not the winner. The first runner, the winner resigned and then she was given the title by default. Oh, she got a default title. Well, no wonder. See, that was default because she is default like that is default. Um, I think that statement has an apology and she should be removed from her spot. I think it's offensive and I don't think anybody, I don't care which nationality, should be able to come here and say what she said and not be reprimanded in any way. There should be some consequences and, and, and when I say some consequences, don't just, oh, you point a finger at her and lash her a little bit with your tongue. No, tell her she needs to go. Since the post went viral, Evna Gibson has since deleted the post and issued an apology via Facebook. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. In the meantime, the Miss Grand Bahama Beauty Pageant Organization issuing a statement this afternoon confirming that Miss Grand Bahama Ivina Gibson has relinquished the crown. The statement issued by advisor April Crother Gao noting that it is important to uphold the integrity of the organization that has been in existence for the past 30 years. The statement goes on to say that the Bahamas has become a diverse country and that in order to be a part of the Miss Grand Bahama Pageant, one must be a behavior 
Bahamian citizen who is proud of this country that has become a melting pot of cultures. Our queens, according to the statement, are some of the most distinguished ambassadors of the country who have put country pride and community first. The Miss Grand Bahama organization is calling it a very unfortunate situation that they hope will never be repeated. Miss Grand Bahama organization is thanking the Grand Bahama community and the Bahamas at large for their continued support. You're watching the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition. Stay with us. There's more news right after this break.